Chris Berry. So first thing I need is what is the game plan for every weight tonight? Are you bumping? Who's hurt? <laughs> like, talk to me. <laughs> well, win every one. That's the game plan. <laughs> So uh -huh. this is the question I've been wanting to ask you. So you went from competing since you were in diapers, one at the highest level, sucked your face off to get down. You're a tweener in weight, tried to make some world teams. Then you get married. Then you start like adulting and stuff. But like you, you were talking to me a while back about like, man, when I get a chance to really focus on recruiting, we're going to have a recruiting class. And you and Caldwell and... As they don't coach Smith, or as the Z don't coach Smith, like stupid recruiting class. Talk about how easier it's been, or maybe tougher it's been, only being able to focus on coaching. Um, I actually like it. You know, I just growing up being around it so much. It was sometimes it would actually get me in trouble with my wrestling because I wouldn't shut up and worry about myself. And uh, you know, I've just always had a passion for it, helping others, you know, watching them have success, learning from what I can preach or teach. So. Um, you know, recruiting for me and our program was a big deal, and I believe that we had the relationships, and I, you know, we presented, uh, when, we could, when we could get things running and get people to buy in and invest into, you know, us having what we need to win around here, and obviously John Smith and our program, that we could get anybody in the country and compete with any, or compete with any team in the country in recruiting. So, you look at all the titles, Oklahoma State's won. Look at all the titles. I was one. You kind of look at it on paper and be like, everybody either wants to go to one or two, you know. And then Penn State comes along. They, they're they're that shiny new toy in the room. Um, talk about how the impact of social media and people being able to market themselves a little bit better has that made things easier for you to be able to weed out the guys you want, or has it made it tougher for you to get the guys that you want? Oh, I think it's made, made it tougher, obviously, but. Um Recruiting is always going to be tough. There's so many good kids now. I think the you know a big thing is um, wrestling's gotten so much better in the high school level that there is no one guy that might is the best at each weight anymore. Really, most of the time, I mean, there's about five or six guys that can beat each other all year long. And I think um, wrestling's just got so good it's evened out. So everybody's got a chance at them. Uh, you got to do your homework and you got to understand each kid, but. Uh, You'll only find those select few that are, are undefeated for four years in high school anymore. It's just too tough wrestling is. Coaches have gotten too good. Um, we're growing, and that's a good thing. And that means uh, you're going to have pro, uh, smaller programs competing with, uh, being, being able to compete in recruiting and maybe getting the better recruit sometimes, not knowing it. Being such a technical guru that you are and, and, and really – I've never met an Oklahoma State John Smith trained guy that isn't an unbelievable teacher, unbelievable uh, coach. And I was talking to Coleman Scott on the podcast about it recently. Um, what about that? And he gave his perspective. What about coming through that program and being a part of that and being around Coach Smith? You think that even the, even the guys that weren't the greatest Oklahoma State wrestlers still seem to just know what they're doing and have a good grasp for it? Um, I think it's just, you know, the demand that he has. Um, you know, was struck with, you know, what he what he expects out of us technically each match. You know, especially when he shows it. You know, if he's going to show a move and he expects us to go out and work it, and then, you know, if you come to Oklahoma State, you should be able to execute the move in a drill quickly and be able to work. It. And uh, he demands that. You know, he demands us to improve technique uh, in matches and in practice. And he, you know, he uses it. You know, that's how he runs his program. He demands skill to improve each week. And he demands to, that you're going to have to have it to win in the end. What's Oklahoma State got to do to get back to the top of the podium, team-wise? Um, I think we're doing it. You know, we're doing a good job right now. We we have a young team. We have uh, five new faces in the lineup this year, um, and we got some the number one recruiting class in the country coming in. So we uh, we have Dayton Fix taking Olympic red shirt, and uh, Cade Brock. You know, still in our still in the, average guys, right? Still in the back uh, force too. So right now, um, we got some good things happening. We've got uh, three freshmen right now wrestling really well, and uh, the, the future's bright for us when we add these recruits in there. 